As the pinnacle of antiquity's ability in architecture and artistic beauty, the seven wonders of the ancient world still cast their shadow over human endeavor today. These are Great Pyramid of Giza Built in C. 2500 BC as the tomb of the 4th dynasty pharaoh Khufu, it is the largest of the three Giza pyramids. Its original height is 146.5 meters. The pyramid remains one of the most extraordinary sites on the planet. It took around 14 years to transport and place the 2.3 million stone blocks. Just how the pyramids were built, or how, 4,000 years ago, Egyptians aligned their structures with the points of the compass, remains the subject of debate. Lighthouse of Alexandria Founded by Alexander the Great in 331 BC, a lighthouse on the nearby island of Pharos. It is thought that the lighthouse reached a height a little under 140 meters, making it the second tallest human-made structure of antiquity. The tower was divided into a square base, an octagonal midsection and a cylindrical upper section, all connected by a spiral ramp so that a fire could be lit at the top. Statue of Zeus What better way to respect the chief god of the ancient Greeks than to build a giant statue of him? How did ancient athletes prepare for the Olympics? Zeus sat on a throne made of cedar wood and decorated with gold, ivory, ebony and precious stones. The god of thunder held a statue of Nike, the goddess of victory, in his outstretched right hand and a scepter with an eagle perched on top in his left. Hanging Gardens of Babylon One theory is that the Babylonian king Nebuchadnezzar II had the hanging gardens created, in C. 600 BC, to help his homesick wife, who missed the greenery of her Median homeland, what is now Iran, they may have been an ascending series of rooftop gardens, with some of the terraces supposedly reaching a height of around 23 meters. This gave the impression of a mountain of flowers, plants and herbs growing out of the heart of Babylon. Mausoleum at Halicarnassus Over the course of his life, the powerful Mausolus built a magnificent new capital for himself and his wife Artemisia at Halicarnassus, on the western coast of modern-day Turkey. It had been designed by Greek architects Pythias and Satyros and boasted three levels, combining Lycian, Greek and Egyptian architectural styles. The roof was in the shape of a pyramid, with a sculpture of a four-horse chariot on top bringing the height of the tomb to around 41 meters. Temple of Artemis At its most impressive, the version that inspired Antipater's account, the white marble temple ran for over, 361 by 180 feet, with its entire length ornamented by carvings, statues, and 127 columns. Inside stood a statue of the goddess Artemis, a site of homage for the many visitors to Ephesus, who left offerings at her feet. Colossus of Rhodes Erected c. 282 BC, the Colossus of Rhodes was the last wonder built, and among the first destroyed, overlooking the harbor, Helios stood at 70 cubits, some 32 meters. Some depictions show him straddling the harbor entrance, allowing ships to sail through his legs. Regardless, the Colossus still wasn't strong enough to withstand an earthquake in 226 BC, and the statue came crashing to the ground in pieces. If you want to see more of our content, make sure to like and subscribe to our channel.